Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Jay Jeter. Bring y'all another review. This time I have Mastermind Creations uh, R03 Bovis. Part of their reformatted line. He is a mercenary and a supply specialist. So yeah. This is um this is part of their um Predator King or not Predator King line or reformat line then well this part of the reformat line which is going on is part of the not pretty king figures one of the first of their not pretty king which is going to be called feral rex so here's the box yep and a product shot of the of bovis aka um tantrum and we got Bam, the side. This is a pretty big box. Got a little product shot of his face right there. Mercenary, and this is the money shot. You see Predator King in the proposed combined mode. And you see product shots with both of us. What all can he do? And yeah, he can you know, do a lot of things. Alright. On this side, same thing. On the bottom. Warnings, top, bovis again, enough of the box. And inside the box you get this figure, bovis right there. And also you get your uh, standard high-end transforming robot collector's card. This is a nice hard credit card type plastic. And you got his um, tech specs, which is written in English. Thank you very much. On here, and he has um, pretty good specs. Strength for eight. Not very smart, not very fast. No. I don't know what cast is. But yeah, cool. Nice artwork. And on here, you got his instruction manual slash comic book. So, I don't want to spoil too much of it in here for you. It's just um, pretty nice comic book. And on the other side, you flip it around, you get his instructions, which are pretty good. Pretty good. Easy to follow. And there you get your Feral Rex Predator King of what he's going to look like once completed. All right. And also, he comes with this, the foot for mm -hmm. Prairie King and the hand. So, yeah, I'll show you a little bit more of that when the time comes. And let's get this out the way. Now we got this right in front of us. This can peg into his back to give him a um, more weapons. As you can see, he got his, um, his knives and his guns already pegged in on him. But you add this to him, you give him even more, a bit more firepower. So, what you're going to do is go into these slots right here and get this thing at these slots right here. And it's kind of hard to get in there. So, all you got to do is make sure the shot slots are lined up and you got to press on here to get it in and it goes in. And there you have him with armed to the max. Of death. All right, I'm gonna pull this right back off, and and this thing just folds up into the foot. So, go a little bit detailing on Bovis himself or uh, Tantrum, whatever you wanna call it. It's up to you. We'll call him up to you. Let's see, you got some really good detailing. Uh, take a look at the swords a little bit. See, it's like silver and it's bronze right here, or gold plastic right there. You got the guns, he's pegged right on and off. And the only handle, so a little bit pointy. You can see the, his handgun, yeah. they're, they're the same on both sides. So I'm just gonna take these things off. So we can get a better look at 
just detailing and whatnot. So, so yeah, you see you got um, yellow eyes right there. It's a robotic bull, bison, whatever you want to call it. Cow. There's no tail, which is okay. Don't really care if he has a tail or not. So yeah. Nice, nice detail. Put this sitting there, right there. That's my doing. And so yeah, it looks very nice, very sturdy. He stands solid. Looks very strong. Oh yeah, his his mouth does open up. Open, open, open. Like that. You want to open it too much because you'll start seeing his own. Um, robot face in there which is kind of creepy so I wonder if he can see at his robot face and the bull face at the same time that's kind of like weird I don't know so yeah open it like about that much and you can, can tilt the head down to do like a charging put the, the head down for charging and the, the legs and stuff do rotate and everything they rotate up here they rotate right there and also the feet are also on ball joints as are the, the legs right here on ball joints and this is like a ball hinge type deal yeah the head is on a uh, it's on a swivel joint so so yeah the articulation on the bull he can pose him, get all feet, all four of his feet planted on the ground. And for a uh, quick size comparison, we got him next to the uh, Transformers Prime uh, Robots in Disguise Viacon. You can see he's um, quite tall in the Viacon. And for uh, laughs and giggles, we got uh, the G1 Tantrum. You can see, got some resemblance right there. They did the homage stuff right here, the little gray thing right there, and they got the gray right here. It's the sticker. So I got the it's kind of logo, logo rice right here. And everything. So yeah. Yeah, they took the, you got the gray and everything right there, the red, whatnot. So, so yeah, they did a good job homaging the on the G1 um Predacon. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's not comparison. All right, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get into transformation. And he is a triple changer. We're just gonna um, go his three modes. I'm gonna go from bull to foot mode, then foot mode to robot. So let's let's go. All right, foot mode. First, you're gonna do. We're going to just go ahead and bring this head down we're going to uh, rotate it and focus and it tabs in get this thing on his chin it tabs into the slot right here on his chest so tab that in right there bam next you want to um, fold his legs up so we're going to rotate these bottom legs and we're going to put them back into the figure we're going to tab them there's a, a tab right here and a peg hole right there and on each of the legs is a um, peg hole right there and the tab right here is going to correspond it's kind of tricky getting this in there but it takes a little bit of work God, I have a hard time I had a hard time getting this transformed the first time I got them so and I still get my ass kicked I transformed like four times already so there we go. You gotta like push upward on it to get it to the hinge to close down. Then from there, you unpeg the leg from right here, bottom. There's a hook right there that pegs into right here. So you unpeg that, bring his foot up. Now you're going to his peg right here is going to go to the slot on his foot. But first, just rotate 
his hoof so that is going straight up like that so it's flat and you peg it in you should feel it click I don't know if you heard it or not but it clicked in so first leg is done same thing on the other side move it on a little bit faster yeah. rotate that up you can't really see it. You just gotta feel around for it. And make sure there we go. It clicked in. So done. Next, you want to pull out the shoulder from here. So shoulders out. Shoulders out. So the other side. Then you want to swing this whole black assembly is going to swing down, and you got this um, peg right here, which is going to peg in to this hole right there. So let me see if I'm doing this right. Yeah. You swing that down, you don't pick it in just yet. You want to rotate this leg up. Swing this one down also. And you're going to first separate this, this bottom half. Separate that. Let's set him down for now. You're going to take his foot right here. And you're going to unpeg the hand from this right here. So all you gotta do is just wiggle it and it comes unpegged and you got to wiggle the hand out of the socket right here and put that off to the side. Next, you're going to lift this up. You're gonna rotate it around and this is going to get your bovis. You're going to take this peg hole on both sides and it's gonna peg into a hole in between his his thighs, you see that? Uh, yeah, you can see it. So it's one on each side. It, it, it lines up in multiple places. It's a groove, a slot for this, that's up right in here somewhere. So it, it's kind of hard getting it, at least for me. It's kind of, it takes a while. I'm probably saying this is probably gonna go in easy for me this time. Come on, get in the hole. Come on, do it now. Yeah, look at that. I'll be on there fighting for like five minutes. Get that thing in, but got it easy this time. Thank you guys for watching me. I always do something right when somebody's watching me. So now you can, um, you got it all lined up and everything. Now this is going to line up correctly. You can peg this in, peg that in, and back. And you peg this one in to the back. Then you're gonna take these two halves and you're gonna peg both of these in. Now there's corresponding pegs and slots for each side, so it's just it's going real easy. So slots in. Then you're going to rotate the foot. Like that. Nope, wrong way. I was getting it wrong, but rotate the hoof. Then you want to take this slot right here and you're gonna peg it into this peg right here. So it takes a it's kind of weird. So you gotta do that at an angle. There you go. Same thing, other side. Rotate it, this thing on the outside, rotate the hoof. And the key is to get the ball joint on the bottom part of the mid leg. Move that also. 
at the same time moving the ball joint up at the hoof also so it's kind of weird and it should it slots in and it's tight nice and tight and firm then you take your connector piece and you rotate it up I'm not gonna rotate it up because it's kind of a pain in the butt to move because it's real tight and there you have him in leg mode yeah nice solid strong leg mode and let me um get another leg out for a comparison for y'all tantrum and here for comparison is hercules uh, mix master in um leg mode you can see they are roughly about the same height. Let's see, at this port, uh, Mix Masters is probably a little bit taller at the connected port. Let's see. Pull this damn thing up. Uh, That's gonna be a pain in the ass getting this thing back down. But I love y'all. I do it for you. I'm doing it for y'all. There we go. Alright, All right, now I have to connect the port. Now they're at the same height. So yeah. They're about even. Got the a little bit of height difference because of the bull horns. But these horns can adjust. You can bring them down however you like. You know, keep them in a natural natural position. It's up to you. So yeah. Side comparison and for shits and giggles, we got G1 and he is on um, is bigger than G1. Yep. And for foot articulation, he um he's on, it's on like a little ball ball joint, so it got all kinds of range of motion and stuff. Only thing I, I'm worried about is kind of loose. It's not well. It's kind. Of, it's it's solid. It doesn't move a lot, but it does move very very easily, which kind of had me a little bit concerned. But uh, by how it was going to hold up on the weight of the full combiner, but I guess the all the weight coming down onto it should be make it a little bit more sturdier. I'm thinking. I don't know. We'll see. But that's something to watch out for. If not, you can probably pop the balls right now and put some like full polish on it and it'll strengthen it up. All right, enough of that. Now let's go into robot mode. All right, pretty much uh, reverse everything. Um, pop the hooves out. I'm paid to pay these. Peg that, rotate back up. Let's get it out the way. Peg, rotate it out the way. Then you're gonna split the lower half. That pop out. I like this better than the um, Hercules, not Hercules, but Uranos, because Uranos, um, foot parts were a pain in the butt to get off, especially the little tiny knob things that came, that helped, could, helped keep the sides together. You put the foot in on your on Uranos, it's a pain in the butt to pull out, but yeah, pull that out. So, now what you're going to do, you're going to put these shoulders back into where it was at before. Um, Flip his head back up, and this little thing gets stuck in there. So you try to put too much pressure ouch, on it. You put it in, on. and this thing thing is in the way. And I just close this shit up. Hold on. So ro make sure before you um rotate these things back up, make sure you put the connector port back down because you won't be able to get it back down without it. And I Very tight, very very tight. So you gotta worry about no floppy knees on this bad boy when you get combined. Jeez. Ugh. Yeah, and no grinding on the joint either. No grinding on the ratchet, so that's cool. So, put a 
back. Rotate it back up. Peg it back in. Peg it back in. Now we got the leg split, which is cool. It's gonna be easier to um, get these out, put these, untab these, get these out the way. It's gonna be easier for you. Um, next thing you're gonna do, you're going to take these panels right here. You want to open this up. Same thing, other side. Okay, open it up. Then you want to um, rotate the leg out. So, I'm gonna rotate. Before you do that, flip these down, red pieces down. down. So, you rotate the leg out. There. Rotate the other side. Rotate the leg out. Adjust these portions however you like. Doesn't matter. Now, what you want to do, which is kind of weird, hmm, not nothing. What you want to do, now this is kind of, this is kind of funky right here, it's kind of weird, but it works. You want to unpeg this, so it's pegged in right here. Unpeg it, this is open, you're going to rotate this red piece I'm gonna rotate it up so that then you're gonna slot this in between the leg then you want to bring it down close this panel and rotate it like that and that forms this foot in robot mode same thing on the other side untab that Rotate it so that this thing just slots in. It's kind of weird to get it though. Man. That's why I say it's kind of funky. Rotate it. Ugh. Just never, uh, rotate it. Get it over this. Rotate it down. And bring it down. Way through. Close this leg panel. Then rotate it forward. Slide it forward. And now you got his feet. Then you're gonna take these robot, these hooves, bring them down, you're gonna peg them back in. So yeah, I could have sworn these things were pointing up. I don't know, what am I tripping? I don't know. But yeah, bring them down. And you're gonna peg it back in. All right. Now you're gonna take these these pieces right here, and you're gonna rotate them a little bit out the way. You're gonna take his lower half, his body, and you're gonna rotate it, and making sure you keep these these on um, saddle bags or side skirts or ammo pouches, whatever you gonna call them, at his side. So when you rotate it, make sure these uh, stay. Where they're at, so you got that rotated all the way around, and you got his legs up front. Cool, almost done. Then get his head, bring it all the way back. All right, take his arms, rotate them down. Unpeg them right here. Rotate the ammo legs. Leave them like that. Then you're gonna take this part right here. And you're gonna unpeg it. Bring it down. You're gonna take this shoulder piece right here, and you're gonna rotate it forward towards the front of them, like that. Next, you're gonna take this ammo leg. And it's gonna tab in just like the, the lower legs did into a black tab right here. Peg tab. And 
this punch is going to tap right there and this hoof is going to peg in right here so that that now you're going to flip his hand out done same thing the other side Next, then you're going to push on this bottom part where the screw hole is at to get his head to come out. Come on, Mr. Head. Hmm. Get in there. Open his mouth up. There we go. Or you can open his mouth up and push the head down. Get stuck, and there is his head, and there you have your bovis in robot mode. And you can take these horns and bring them forward, and you have your bovis or tantrum in robot mode. And he is a great, awesome figure, nice and big and bulky, and uh, looks very powerful. There you can see, nice little detailing, check out the face, you have an awesome looking face, nice little snarl to him, you got the red visor, which is painted in like a um, reflective metallic red, a little molded in grating right here, got a little section for his logo right there a little molded in cut out for it so you can place the logo in right there if you want to and he just just got tons and lots of um molded in detailing which is awesome get the molded in detailing in between his legs you can see painted black right there which looks great 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 you got the uh, saddle bags with the cannons on it so yeah yeah, as far as articulation, he has some good articulation. Um, some things you won't pick up the first time you get them because some things are, are tight. Like I found he has um outward shoulder movement, which I, I thought he did not at first. I thought his shoulders went like this. And that was it. But messing around with him a little bit more and more and more and more, these this came loose. So that's cool. Great. Move around 360 is on a ball joint. Uh, had a upper bicep swivel uh rotate bends at two points at the elbow but you can't get but can bend about that far the two bends pretty much do the transformation um wrist does swivel left and right which is cool uh he has rot um uh, torso on um, waist rotation excuse me uh, his head can look left and right, but it's kind of hindered because he got these horns and everything. And he can not look up and down. Well, he can look, look up, push his head up like that. But his head not on a ball joint, it's like it's on a swivel joint. Yeah, let's go for it. Not that much, almost 90 degrees. And he has a knee bend, about 90 degrees. Upper thigh rotation. Leg is on a um, a ratchet joint. If he can move his, his legs out, do a good side kick, front kick, do a roundhouse, what have you. So and um, also he has articulated toes. They can bend like that. So that is, that is cool. You can him in some action poses, running, what have you. And he does have these like little I guess saddle pack saddle saddle bags or I prefer I call them ammo ammo pouches so you got some ammo pouches right there 
or you know, side skirts, whatever you want to have. You can position them wherever you want to. Have them up front, have them to the side, put them on the back, whatever, whatever you want to do. And he comes with his weapons. He has guns. And I heard it's very tricky getting his guns in his hands. But really had no problem. What you gotta do for what I do, I haven't looked online to see who what fixes they have for the guns, but I put them at that sideways angle and then I uh, rotate them forward like that. So it, it kind of works. I can see what the problem is. He uh, doesn't really get a good detent. It's kind of like he get him to hold it, hold it good. He got his point at an angle. So and you have him here straight forward. It's kind of it's loose. So whatever, whatever you want to do, you know, I was going with these little swords machetes knives whatever you want to do it same thing get them in at an angle then i rotate them and i got it stuck i had no problem with these before yeah and same thing with the guns put it in turn it to an angle gets it hold it in pretty tight i'm kind of worried about it stressing out the plastic on the on the hand, it might end up breaking or something like that. So, whew. so yeah, and that's how the hell get the joints out. Now it's kind of hard because the guy on camera. There you go. Let go. And he can also hold his um, backpack cannon in his hand if you want him to. I never tried it before, so I never, I don't think I'm ever going to use it. So, he can slide the handles into his hands. And he can do like a, um, a big old buster cannon type deal with him if you want. And he, he does hold it. You got to position him right. Ah, jeez. I have him lean back a little bit. There you go. Lean them back. Which is probably how you probably want to hold this something like this anyway. You probably want to put your weight back. I don't know, it might kick you back or something. So yeah. He can hold it like that. You know, you can store this on his back also. You got these slots back here. You got some slots on his back. And you just slide it on in. And it holds in. One thing I like about this figure, I have a problem with mine, is that these um these ball joints on his feet are very um loose. So his feet are not the sturdiest. I think I gotta give him the right position. I might put some floor polish or nail remover, nail polish on his ball joints on his feet to give him better stability so yeah and for a uh, size comparison I have Toy World's Hegemon or their Megatron and Megatron is a little bit is taller than him at the robot head Top portion, but his um beast head is taller than Megatron. So he just about in scale with um uh, with Megatron or Hegemon, you want know, to refer to him as. So yeah. So yeah, um I recommend him. He is good. He has a few minor flaws. I don't know. It's probably like just on mines. My figure that it got some um, bad ankles. And um, also, um, I noticed on the boards they were talking about they got some like some grinding of the their, the gears. I don't know if you can see it or not. Damn lighting. But yeah, there's some like you know, Grinding on the upper gears of the upper elbow right here on the black part. So someone from, from MMC says nothing to really worry about this elbow time. It's it's not gonna impede the um 
the friction is just going to make it look kind of nasty, but it shouldn't impede the ratcheting action or detent action of the of the elbow. So, yeah, I recommend this dude pick him up if you haven't already. Um, it's going to be like a, a really beefy combiner. I can't I'm excited. I can't wait to get him fully com combined, fully formed. So yeah, yeah. This has been Jay Jeter. My review of Mastermind Creations reformat R03 Bovis. Uh, catch me later. Catch you later. Peace.